Direct-to-garment printing, also known as DTG, is a state-of-the-art type of garment printing which boasts much lower production costs for smaller jobs than traditional screen printing, while offering better quality prints and full-color capabilities. This technology can enable you to make more money for your business when you choose the right printer to fit your needs. Before adding any new technology to your business, including DTG, it's vital that you consider what your true cost of ownership will be. These costs will come in from all angles, whether it's financing, supply costs, shirt costs, or even maintenance costs for your DTG printer. Our focus today will be on comparing the costs associated with owning the top four DTG printers on the market in order to help maximize your profits. We're going to compare pricing, production, and maintenance costs between four of the major DTG printer manufacturers, Omniprint's FreeJet, Anajet's RI3000, Brothers GTX, and Epson's F2100. The first step to profiting in DTG printing is to establish a low break-even point by investing in equipment that isn't too expensive to run or maintain, but still produces the desired print quality. This will enable you to charge more for these high-quality prints and net more due to your low break-even costs. One thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to go to the other extreme and waste money on equipment that is low quality just because it's dirt cheap. Paying $5,000 for a DTG printer should raise some red flags for you and could cause you to start your DTG business on the wrong foot. Now let's look at your potential costs more closely. You're going to have to take into account the price of the printer, the cost of the ink, and the cost of the monthly maintenance. At first glance it appears like the Epson F2100 is the most inexpensive option. However, if you take a closer look, Omniprint's FreeJet 330TX has only one print head to maintain and doesn't require monthly flushing, whereas the others have multiple print heads and or require monthly flushes. That's more money wasted on maintaining additional print heads and even more money wasted on losing unused inks when flushing monthly. Next, you have to consider the ink and maintenance costs. Does this printer require cartridges or does it implement a bulk ink system? Anajet, Brother, and Epson require a cartridge system, while the FreeJet implements a bulk ink delivery system. Cartridges are costly and in most cases, don't efficiently use up all of the ink within the cartridge. A bulk ink system eliminates the need for costly cartridges and gives you the ability to refill the ink as needed without the need for more cartridges. But what are the ink costs? Again, the bulk ink eliminates the need for cartridges, cutting the ink costs almost in half compared to the cost of purchasing cartridges for an Anajet, Epson, or Brother. That's up to $200 of savings. That's $200 that can be used to print roughly 200 shirts, which can then be sold at $25 each, resulting in $5,000 of profit by choosing a bulk ink system over a costly cartridge system. That's $5,000 you can use for your business, your family, or even yourself. Now let's take a look at average monthly maintenance costs. Anajet, Brother, and Epson all average at $75 per month, while the FreeJet only averages at $25 per month. But why? Every printer except for the FreeJet performs multiple daily head cleans when sitting idle. That's two to three times per day in which you run a head clean, which takes unused ink and runs it directly into the waste tank or bottle. With these multiple head cleans, you could have used that same ink to again print shirts that will then contribute to breaking even and moving into pure profit. Now let's break down the operation costs over a five year period. To help put this into perspective, let's say we're printing 400 shirts with a 9x12 graphic every month. That's a total of 24,000 shirts in five years of production. The ink cost per shirt ranges from $1 on a FreeJet up to $2.38 on an Epson F2100. That's a monthly total of $400 on a FreeJet, $716 on an Anajet, $856 on our brother GTX, and $952 on an Epson F2100. That means that while the FreeJet ink cost is $24,000 over a five year period, you're paying an additional $21,000 on an Anajet, $30,000 on our brother, and $36,000 on an Epson. That's an additional 36,000 shirts that you could have printed if you would have gone with the FreeJet instead of an Epson. A total of $900,000 of losses in potential revenue. That's almost a million dollars of revenue opportunity wasted on unnecessary ink and maintenance costs. So now you see why choosing the right equipment will help your business in the long run. The numbers do not lie. When it comes down to maximizing your profits, the FreeJet is king. 
With the FreeJet, you can easily set a low break-even point while still boasting a great print quality and profiting sooner off of your DTG printer. With the DTG printer, you will have the upper hand over other print shops because now you don't need to set large minimum quantities and you don't need to charge per color. In addition, you can expand your business by printing on other types of garments such as hats, socks, pants and more. The possibilities are endless. So do your own research, ask the right questions and make sure to select the DTG printer that will get you the most bang for your buck.